gentleman is not alive yet. No, he has not. I'm afraid the dinner will be spoiled. What difference does it make? It's too late to dine now. Look at that clock. Almost 7 p.m. If Fred doesn't come home soon, dinner will be ruined. Oh, I'm used to it. Since Barney got involved with the league, he's never home before dinner is ruined. You didn't eat a bite. You didn't touch the roast. Of course, it's all dried out now. That's what comes from warming it over and over when you don't serve dinner on time. I'm sorry, Miss Bantam. Sorry. Being sorry won't help a spoiled dinner. <laughs> you, dear? Be right in, Wilma. Hurry, dear. I kept your dinner warm, and you're just in time to tuck pebbles in. Sure glad to be home. Well, his mother went on sitting there and talking to herself, and she began to get worried because he was late home from work, and his dinner would get spoiled. I tell you, there's nothing to worry about. I'll Yes, I will. Okay, cross my heart, I promise I'll keep your dinner hot for you. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. From the way he carried on, I thought I'd have to bring it to the gravel pits. Barney's driving today, so you better keep his dinner warm, too. Mm-hmm. Caroline? It's Connie. Listen, we got a little held up. We'll be there in 20 minutes. I hope that dinner isn't ruined. Okay, bye. All right, get in the car. Barney and I just joined the Army for three years. You and Barney joined the Army for three years? Don't expect me to keep your dinner hot that long, Fred. Oh, up the ramps he goes, up he goes, up he goes. I gotta go home. That's me. <laughs> it is really it. It's really it. The meat's burned through Chris. Oh, what a tongue that woman's got. Yes. I didn't disturb you by any chance. I'm sorry. I I'm on my way. Well, your dinner's in the dog. We don't have a dog. I'll see you later. Well, okay. All right, bye, bye. <laughs> 